All right, we are live. Thank you for watching VOD. Um, what I plan on doing for this uh, session is I'm going to hop in on another new tune, maybe a class race combo I haven't played or haven't played in a while. And uh, then I'll just focus on that tune for the duration of the of the stream and moving forward i want to do if i want to do more of these try to go through as many of the classes as possible and just get some time on them so folks can see them um if uh if nick is listening in when we once we get going then i can also field some questions for the classes and stuff so we'll Ooh, all right we just got loaded up i'm gonna get straight into it Assuming I can do that. What's up, Droop? How you doing? I wonder if notifications have hit a Discord. Maybe. What's up, Robert? Hey, John. Chaz Solo. Hmm. It's one of my favorite Red Bull flavors so far. Pear and pear and cinnamon Red Bull. It sounds like it wouldn't be good, but you know what? It's good. Droop said. What flavor is it? I never found one I liked better than OG. Man, every time I have a legit OG Red Bull, it just it just tastes like EverQuest development. Hey Dozakar. What's up, Bjorn? Bjorn. Alright, so you guys that are already in here, let's pick a race class combo. Having a wine and stream tonight. A uh, wine and stream night. Oh, yeah, because you're you're over on the island. Right on. Well, enjoy your wine. John said so fa sadness and frustration. No, man. Early EverQuest, when I first got on the team, it was... Excitement and frustration. The sky was the limit. Now I'm old and jaded. Yeah, that appearance can't can't stay. Hey Justin Beer, what's going on, buddy? Grenith Milton Nova, hello. Welcome. Um Alright, first person to Suggest a cool race class combo that I haven't played recently is the winner. Hey, Costanza. Ogre Shadow Knight. All right, Bjorn. Bjorn, you win. Ogre Shadow Knight. Let's do it. Troll Enchanter Dozakar. What are you thinking? Hey, Serenth. All right, so things are going well. Uh, let me let me full screen this first of all. Boom. Um, so let's give him a name. Tug. All right, I'll take that name, Drew. Tug. Holy shit, perfect.
That'll work too. All right. So, Tug, here we go. Ogre Shadow Knight. Let's do it. Oh, wait. I've got shit to do. Strengths. I just clicked a button like a dum dum. This isn't two years ago. We have things we've got to do. We've got buttons to click. Select traits. Brawn. I'm already so brawny. But we're going to take it anyway. Defender. Defender is tempting. I'm going to get that free shield. Shieldman. Oh, John. Nice one. You're so good at that, John. Charisma or bust? I don't know if I can be any more charismatic on this guy. Um, maybe Infravision? I haven't, I haven't messed with Infravision lately. And we need one more miner. Lumberjack. He's a lumberjack and it's okay. Hmm, what's that, Jasmine? A miner, a miner ability. Yeah. Coal miner. Hey, quick sauna. What's up, Aaron? Uh, why are one-eyed faces always the best? The eye patch human, the missing eyed dwarf, etc. From EQ are always my favorite. Yeah, they, well, they've got character. You know what? They've got character. Yeah, we'll take we'll 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 take survivalists just just cause. I think we're good. Let's enter the game. What's up, D? Aaron said, "Not much. Been a while since I've been able to catch one of these live. Well, it's nice to see you again." Hey, Carthage. All right, it took me a little bit. Oh yeah, I forgot Ollie made that change, so it may take a little longer. Need a duo buddy robot? Zukin? Sure, if you wanna if you wanna roll up a new tune. Whatever you think will complement a Shadow Knight. Speaking of Zukin, um Zuka and I talked a little bit this morning with Goblin about some of the stuff we talked about last night. I uh, was going to write up a summary, but ultimately, even before that, if you guys uh, get a chance to bang your heads together, it's going to be cool. I'm excited. And I let, uh, I let Ollie and Nick know what we were talking about. Um, Shaman's one of the best compliments to any melee class. Hmm... Cleric as well. Aaron said game is looking good. Love the Biome Jam video. Oh, right on. Really excited with uh, how that video turned out. All right, so we've got a level one Shadow Knight. I am not going to be the 
<clears throat> I'm not going to be the person that's the uh, the guy that can answer all your quests or your your class questions, but I do want to at least get in and have some play time on these guys, um, and just kind of go through all of the various classes over time in some of the streams, uh, just because then it makes a good opportunity for people to watch the vods or find them on YouTube and. At least see them in a little bit of action. John, the fact that you can you can keep all of your puns and all of your uh, song references and everything in your head, pretty impressive. The music's probably pretty loud today. How are you guys feeling on it? Is it too loud for you? I got it cranked up right now. Is that Freedom Rock? We'll turn it up. Does our knob go to 11? Uh, well, I mean, Robert only works in, in the volume of 11. The Fade said, uh, just joined, but I really dig the music. Are you familiar with the stream? Is this your, this isn't your first time here. It's not giving me one of those cute little messages saying first time chatter or whatever. So I assume you've been here before. But if you guys are looking for the music, uh, here's a link. You lurk, you lurk a lot. Sir, lurk a lot. Troop said music's great. I've been doing some adventuring in EQ Live and have had Eminem music going in the background. Fits surprisingly well. Makes sense. It does make sense. You're welcome for the link. Lich, how you doing, buddy? Cool. I got my stuff equipped. Got some spells going on. He got confused. With everything cranked up like this, I may find that the sound effects in game are a little bit high as well. So I may turn the volume down a little bit. But again, you guys give me feedback on that front. Oops. Wrong button. I keep switching things around. I can. I, I, I was about to say that's more durable, but uh, I'm only hitting him for one initially, so I can definitely see how he's uh, a lot of ones in here. He's just regenning through me.
Robert said, I'm selling stuff in EC Tunnel on P99 Blue while enjoying the stream. Right on. Robert, what's it like being what's it like being on blue after blue's been out for so long? Do you still feel it's do you still feel it's worthwhile? I mean at this point, how long has it been since Vele has dropped on blue? Like six years. Wow. Eight years. Oh, wow. Even more wow. Kind of afraid of this snake. Let's do it. Eight years is a long time. Twenty sixteen. Okay, yeah. Well, definitely wasn't doing the math. Um, but Robert, you're still playing. Eight years after the last expansion dropped. Man, Snake's a little bit. He's a little bit tougher. Well, I'm good now. And I'm invincible now. Robert was probably selling the same stuff in EC Tunnel for at least the last seven of those years. It's hilarious. See, my auction, auction messages are echoing in the tunnel. Oh, that's sad. <laughs> Group said, I find that some MMOs are actually more fun when they're outside of their prime uh, life. Blue is a good example. Not near as many griefers, RMT, bots, etc. Because it's essentially legacy at this point. The only people there are the ones who just enjoy playing the game. Yeah, that's and that's the thing. Um, and Robert said 100%. That's the thing I'm curious about. Like I, I am curious if there's not some. Uh, oh shit! I just realized with Nick in the group, all I have to do is stand here. It's we're back. It's just like old times. Streaming and Nick doing all the work. Zook and we can just relax. Um, we'll be level 20 by the end of the, end of the stream. Um. Oh, oh. Some loot walking by over there. We got to get them before the, uh, before the Ashura do. I wonder what my strength is. Holy shit, that spider just scared me. <laughs> I was like, well, it's a giant. It was right next to my head, so I thought it was huge. I was like, that must be... I thought somebody put some more random craziness in the game that I hadn't seen before. Oh my gosh. Oh, 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 another... Um, hey, Defiant Possum. Um, so I don't know that I'll ever play an ogre. They're, they're just too big. I, I like the camera experience. I like being lower to the ground. 
but for um, for these play tests here, I think it's it's good. This guy. Um. So, anyways, what we were talking about was nice. I've leveled. We were talking about the servers kind of coming into their own once they've once they've aged a bit, like P ninety nine blue. Um, I think there's something to that. I think once it settles in like that. One of the things we've talked about is is getting kind of uh, getting things to that point where there's a there's a stability. The world's not going to grow anymore. But then, you know, some oops, this is not needed. The uh, there are live events. There's zones get updated. Maybe a couple zones here and there added, but not necessarily a full expansion. What's my strength right now? My strength is 23. <clears throat> Droop says you guys nailed the scale between races, by the way. Well, we appreciate that. Definitely, definitely a lot of thought and discussion going into that. Um... <clears throat> I mean, we've started from like a pretty aggressive approach, right? Like they're they're, they're very different. Um, we've, you know, we've made some tweaks here and there, but What is our combined development experience? 1,000 years. Her Germany is about to pass a weed law. Uh, yes. Yes. I heard that as well. Um... The, but I was telling Jasmine that the funny thing is they will make they will make marijuana legal but the the food regulations are so strict that it will still be impossible to find interesting edibles for at least 20 years it'll take them 20 years to get the edibles through the bureaucracy whatever that word bureaucracy Garden communities are going to get more interesting. Chinny D, I think, I think we're actually allowed to grow two plants already. Three. Two. Three. Is that already legal? I, uh, I already grow tobacco. I would, I would want to grow them just to grow them. I just like growing stuff. I'm not even a, I'm not even like a, I'm not really a marijuana person. I mean hell, I haven't even had any alcohol in six months. But I do like grown stuff.
Carthage says, I'm a master grower in the industry back in the States. I push 1,500 plants a month. That is an awful lot. Enoch says, under the new legislation put forward by Germany's ruling coalition parties, uh, adults can cultivate up to three plants for private consumption and be allowed to possess 50 grams at a time at home, 25 in public. Okay. Cool. If your neighbors aren't growing, you can use their allotment right next to your plants. Oh, that's a fair point. Speaking of farming, any more plans or ideas for farming in Eminem? Nothing that I've heard discussed, but I just assume it's always going to be uh, dope because Ollie's an actual farmer. That's funny, Justin. Any word when the next open play test might be? Um, no word on it, and honestly, oh, nice, cozy. Honestly, um, we'll make it super known. The moment we know, we'll we'll make it well known. Like because we we want to be able to have you guys in here. When you guys said Ali's a farmer, I always assumed he ran a server farm. No, but he runs a pretty high tech farm. Four twenty playtest. Mm, that would be funny. That would be in line with our level of professionalism and humor. Um, I asked earlier, but are the are the combat sounds and stuff um, okay for you guys? Hello. A 69-day play test starting on 420. Perfect. That'd be nice. We are just slaughtering stuff. I have not looted anything, so if I did desire to, uh, if I did desire to buy any spells later, I would, uh, not have the cash for it. More, more reasonable, you should announce a six to nine day playtest starting at 420. Or we could just have a 69 minute playtest on 420. <laughs> You'll take what you can get. All right. That's what I like to hear. It's on a Saturday, makes sense. Oh man, you're really you're starting to sell this. You're starting to sell us. Hey spider. Or it only allows sixty nine players make everybody fight for it. Uh, 
I believe in you, Drood. Oh wait, I don't believe in the amount of mana you've got left. But we got this. We've got this. That one had a buckler as well. Nick can get himself a... Can get himself a shield. Listen, if gaming has taught me anything, it's my capacity for fictional evil. Doing is high. I will sacrifice people to get a spot. I respect that. This is where I would not would not mind having a snagged a uh, like a life tap already. All right. Well, that was a lot of murder. Can you show some in items in game drops or explain a little bit about items? All right, Justin, have a good meeting. Oops, trade. It's, it seems, this seems like a broad question. Maybe I'm misunderstanding it. And do different character models have different melee ranges? I do not believe so unless something changed. I don't believe so. I know we've been doing some... Uh, ah, screw it. I'm gonna... I'm riding out on my shield. Level tree. This one's got himself a sword. All right, so uh, we've been doing some um, uh, player character controller changes. I think I'm not sure if those were per race already, and I don't know if that would have affected the distance that you're talking about. Wait a second, two hand. Yeah, it's two hand. Hmm. Just because it'll be cool. Leveling is going going pretty fast. That's that's truth. We're forgetting our fire. Fire beetle eye tight. Cool. Because it's getting dark. I wasn't uh, I wasn't blowing off your question, Spider. I was just trying to understand it more. What do you mean? Um, can you show some items in game? Um, so I just got this big old crazy honking sword off of Ashira. It was not that big when I saw it on the Ashira, and I'm switching out from my little starter sword to this big old two-handed sword. Stats of my items, see what it has. Um, sure. Keep in mind, our UI is very working placeholder at the moment. But that's how the setup looks.
my favorite time my favorite times of the day are there during the transitions uh, I've been saying to Ollie forever that I would love if we could make the dusk and dawn last a bit longer and maybe eat up some of the it could you know it could stand to eat up a little bit of the nighttime and the daytime just because it's the prettiest. Straight murdering stuff. Alright, so we're 35 minutes into my stream, which I don't think I even really started moving around on this guy until 13 it. So we're about... We're about... 30... So we're about, what, 20... 23 minutes of played in so far. What is my favorite instance of an MMO of all time? Like a, my favorite environment? My favorite environment probably wouldn't be an instance, I don't think. I have kind of a cop-out answer though when uh, when people ask me what my favorite zone in an MMO is, I will often say that it's uh, that it is the the Kanos the Kanos newbie yard because that was the first place. Ooh, thank you. That's the first time I realized what an MMO was. And I was like, holy shit, this is amazing. Doc Funfrock said, do you all have funding for this game at all yet? No, everything's, um, all of the expenses are paid out of pocket and all of the work is being done by us as volunteers. So we're all volunteering our time and, um, and the expenses that we've got, our monthly expenses and stuff, we're, we're just paying as we go. Droop says, night looks cool too. I can think of all sorts of cool effects you can do in various zones. That'd be amazing. Maybe a snow zone up north, have some normal light effects. Oh, for sure, right? Stuff like that. For sure. We are funded by love. We are funded by your kind words and your willingness to tell your friends. Dude, I just smacked it for 15 points. Slashed a large rat for 17 points earlier. I am a beast. Thick boy sword, yeah. This sword is uh, pretty honking. Puddin says, as Eminem's personal seller rat, please allow me to answer funny questions. Yes, we have received a significant amount of fun wall dinging. Fun dinging. I see what you did. Spider said, what I have played is called Guck and EverQuest, a real dungeon, labyrinth, passages, falls through, slippery places, 
uh, narrow passages, turns in all directions, upper area filled with good frogs, lower area with undead frog. Yep, it is a fantastic zone. Dude, this spider just got me again. It just scared me. And after after Guck, uh, more casual, probably BRD and WoW Classic, 20 bosses go into. The first time running through different WoW instances was a lot of fun. Black Burrow's a favorite, mainly because I got killed in there so many times and had to try and break, or sorry, sneak around for corpse runs before res or competent groups. Man, I did. I fell in the uh, I fell in the hole in Black Burrow as well because I started in Kanos. Oh my god, I was so terrified. And then to finally like get escorted down to get my corpse and seeing everybody in like camps in different areas and just gnolls running around. It was so wild. Any idea how many starting cities there will be? You guys leaning more towards three or four versus one for every race. Eventually there will be a racial city for every race. I don't think there are any exceptions. Um, but we may not have every racial city in at launch. But let's just put it that way. We'll, we'll provide more info soon. But I guess a more honest way of saying it is don't expect don't expect. Small team. Oh man, we've got a lot of pulling going on here. That's fine. Got a lot of mobs twitching as well. East Corona for the first time. Uh, the one with the huge gorge blew my mind as a child. I could, I could see it. The funny thing was my first trip from Kanos to Freeport. Um, we went the weird southern route because I'm I don't I don't feel like I I ran up or down that ramp for a while. The, a decent portion of our run was at night. It was terrifying. Velks was also one of your favorites, Droop says. The music in there was wild. I don't remember the music, but I remember spending a lot of time in Velks. John Pineapple. Bound in Freeport, so I was super scared of dying and never getting my body back. Oops, I should probably uh, turn on auto attack. Yeah, I was bound in Kanos, so going to Freeport, I was super scared of dying and never getting my body back. But fortunately, my dear Dwarven Cleric buddy, who I made just on that adventure, his name was Arist. Um, and Aris the Dwarf was somebody I randomly met the day that I shouted into OOC in Kanos 
I said, hey, I've heard that there's much cooler stuff over in uh, this place called Freeport, and that's where all the cool kids are. So does anybody want to try to run there with me? And uh, I was only like level eight or nine or 10 or something. And Eris was like, hey, I'll go. And we met up and since he could bind, he wound up, um, he, he wound up whenever we got in real bad trouble, he'd train everything away and I would try to hit his own line. It, it took us all night to, to make the run. It was so terrifying. It was so amazing. The whole, like, the whole is funny because playing, um, playing a cleric for the first time on TLP, everything was pretty awesome all the way until it was time to, like, heal in the hole. And then I actually had to be on my game. And, uh, you know, that, I think that's the only time I had anybody kind of bitch at me a little bit about my, my, Bell choice or something that I did wrong wasn't being optimal in my efficiency. But even that what was wasn't bad. People have been pretty cool. Yeah, it was one of those kind of groups. Enoch, Enoch asked, "Cabbage soup, yay or nay?" I would say yay. A anytime the word cabbage is involved, yay. Why aren't you using? Dude. So... Based in Cabbage Field, eating some right now. Nice. That's one of, those, one of the things I like about Germany. Always plenty of cabbage around. These folks like the cabbage. Enoch, are you German? Are you German in Germany or are you just an American German? This do Deutsch. Was two hand weapon damage capped at low level last time server was open? Uh, I don't know if, if Nick's listening in, he might be able to answer. I thought no, because I thought there have been previous times where... I'm just going to attack this thing. Where, um... Where I've played a tune and had, like, ridiculous two-hand damage. Ah, uh, okay. Enoch said, nope. American German. Droop. They're more like EQ clerics. Ahoy, ahoy, said, Germany just voted to legalize some weeds. <laughs> that is... It, that is the talk of the town over in America. Well, I forget. Ahoy, ahoy. Are you in America? I know I've, I, I know I've talked to a few of you over here. <laughs> Robert said, weed? Guy. <laughs> Guy. Ahoy, ahoy, he's German. Okay. Jetzt macht Sinn. That's my broken German. My busted ass Deutsch. Knorke? I don't even, I don't know what that word is, Robert. What's Knorke? Oh, really? Knorke. I've never heard that the whole time I've been here. I've heard zero Knorkes. Dufte, prima. 
Learn something new. A rabbit is old. Sean, haven't you ever walked through a park in Berlin? Um, I'll be honest with you, I don't think I have. I've I've taken the train by some parks in Berlin. I have walked by I've been in parks in Hamburg and all it it already just smells like basically them making weed legal in most German cities is just kind of admitting defeat. I mean Hamburg just smells like weed. Whereas it was rare, it was rare in Stockholm. The the Swedes are a little weird about the marijuana. Admitting defeat is not something the Germans do. That is, I don't know if that's accurate. The Swedes are kind of weird in general. This is true. said Sean your partner's dentist yes my wife is a dentist she is a dental dental surgeon so more recently she hasn't done a ton of dental normal dental stuff but she's uh, but I, she is capable of doing that you need a you need m and and a dentist two for one deal I tell you what if you come over and get 40 implants <laughs> directly from my wife just 40 it's just 40 implants 40 is a bunch just find space make them look like a shark <laughs> that'll be the newest shit just 80 implants and just be like <laughs> two rows of teeth 40 rows of implants get you what? Uh, a, you know, a little m and Don't tell the rest of the team. Dude, this... Until we fix, like, this nav mesh or whatever, this is just gonna keep terrifying me. You come out looking like Jaws from 007. You come out looking like Jaws from Jaws. <laughs> He's gonna need a bigger mouth. Is it really the new nav mesh when it only works on spiders? Um, I'm that's my story. I'm sticking with it. You're, about, you're thinking about this all wrong. I want different sets of implants. I need to match my every pair of fly sneakers. Ooh, that's a thought. Oh, Nick is going towards Sun Greet. We'll see. Um, yeah, there we go. We can just get you the four implant. Sort of. Yeah, is it four on each? Anyways, the implant based dentures and then you can get the, uh, the custom custom dentures to go with your sneakers. You've got a you've got a toothache? I thought I had a toothache um, during dinner. I'm gonna have to see my actual dentist dentist. They just warped out of here. J 
Jazzman SSK said, odd question. I haven't been able to tune in for a few months. I was going to use my Prime sub while I'm here, but there's no subscribe option at all. Uh, tried restarting browser, nothing. Um, our subs turns off. Yeah, so what happened was uh, we started looking into it more and with German tax law being with it, what it is, decided that it was probably going to be a bigger pain than it was worth and there might be some implication on like health insurance and all sorts of other shit that i really just didn't feel like it made sense for us to spend a bunch of money getting actual professional advice on the topic when i could just renounce my twitch affiliate chip excuse me and not have to worry about it um so that's what we did so I just turned off subs and stuff. Oh man, everybody is invisible. Now they're back. Um, Spider said, can you show spells, game mechanics, some things about how the game works, like explain for newbies. Um, so you're seeing some spells being cast on me. Looks like I'm getting Holy Fortitude, probably from Nick, and I'm getting Wood Skin from Drood, who is being played by Zukin. Um, if you see the wacky running right now, you you didn't see that during the playtest. Uh, looks like we introduced an issue that it sounds like Chip got to the bottom of. It's just, uh, I think it's, he said it's something like the way that we're cal calculating velocity or something is now messing with the animation so it's causing it to like it's just doing goofy shit but um should be fixed soon enough so you'll see these guys walk kind of funny um i'm playing a shadow knight nick's playing a cleric zukin's playing a druid so in this situation um i am using provoke to earn the ire of the NPCs that we're fighting, so that ideally it's attacking me because I'm stronger and more uh, awesome than my group mates. And so that will, that will uh, allow them to not be interrupted when they're healing me and stuff like that. So that's my, that's my super, super basic sort of explanation of what's going on. We started in the newbie area and we've uh, moved out here to this second zone, Sungreet Strand, um, to grab some higher level mobs. Though this area here I think is kind of the same as what we had in there, but maybe spread out a little bit more. Um, but we can start to dip our toes. Fall damage is currently turned off. Uh, we'll need to turn that on before the next play test if possible, because it was really a bummer seeing you guys fall off of stuff and not die. I don't think you, uh, you don't properly respect the environment in that situation. Robert, I'm, I don't know that I'm gonna get in that water though until it's light out. Robert has just updated some sound for us, so it sounds really awesome when you get in the water. It sounds like being in the water, sorry. Oops, and now it's daylight by the power of magic. That totally was n probably not Nick. Um, SSJ, my champ. How should I say it? Should I just say SSJ or? Macha. Kind of looks like matcha. Um, SSJ is fine. Awesome. Uh, asked, how do you go about fixing these types of glitches? Is it like a sprint that is planned or just someone going into code and uh, configuring? Uh, honestly, it's funny. We were just here. Let's listen. Hold on one second. We'll, we'll do, we'll do it differently. I'll, I'll pause the music. I'll pause the music. Um, when, when Zukin, Zukin, if you're listening, could you maybe cast some spells or something and I'll go underwater? Um, 
Hey, Ollie. Okay, now go underwater. Can you hear the underwater? Oh my gosh, this is super underwater feeling. Yeah, absolutely, Robert. Robert just got this in, and it's really cool. Um, what does it sound like when you cast in water? My only spell I have at the moment is draw strength, so I'll do that here. Um, let's see, let me go back up because there was a question that I wanted to answer that you were kind enough to give us. Um, okay, so SSJ had asked the question about, that is a fast ass crocodile. Um, about how we go about fixing stuff. A lot of time it's just people will will ask hey is anybody aware of this bug and we'll like ask in our bug channel or something like that or it'll come up in a conversation or it'll come up on a stream and uh oftentimes Ali or somebody will see it and just be like oh let me look real quick it, unless they they're aware of it if they know that hey yeah this is a known bug we're not going to deal with that anytime soon then it's cool we just pass but if they're like oh that's new Oftentimes they'll just look really quick, and if it's a simple fix, they'll just make the fix on the spot. If it's something that's interesting to some, you know, somebody on the team, then they may dig in a little bit later, either way, and then fix it. Otherwise, it'll go into our bug database, and then we just kind of go through those and grab them as uh, uh, Nick just zoned. Um, and we'll just kind of grab them as we go. So we, uh, we, but we, we, you know, we, every once in a while we'll talk a little bit about project management and stuff and how much of it we want to do versus how much of it we don't. Um, and so far it hasn't been something where we've got like a massive need, but we have been planning a lot more for how to get to the end of proof of concept, which has always been a big topic. You know, people asking, oh, you know. How how far are you going with proof of concept? How long is it going to take and all that? So we're working to figure those things out and then we'll we'll let you know. But as part of that, then we're kind of looking, we're being a little bit more project manage me. Manage me. Um, yeah, this is SGS, right? Sun Greet Strand. Uh, what was the other? Press for detail when inspecting it, uh, expecting an indie MMO. Golem, we are not just any indie MMO. We are a well lubricated machine. We're very passionate. We're. <laughs> um, I'm gonna stop. We're professionals. Let's see. Let me turn the music back on. Uh, what else? What else? What else? Hey, Dragon. What's going on, buddy? Uh, Jmox555 said, Are you planning to have quests similar to EQ? Not as obvious. Um, how to complete waypoints, etc. Yeah. We've already got them in. We're, we, we're very old school in our quest implementation. Um, we've also added a little wrinkle to um, to quests and world interaction overall. If you look over here in the corner, you'll see a button called look. If I push it right now, it's not, not going to say much. I hit look and it says I'm in Sungreet Strand. But um, in different places in the environment, 
I can look and it may give me some information. It'll say, oh, you notice something weird about this rock over here. Or you notice something shiny in the sand, right? And typically that's going to be linked to some sort of some sort of clue or interesting location or whatever. Um, or someone sent you to go find something like, go look in his tent. And so, and from there, that allows you to interact with what we call mud actions, named after multi-user dungeons. Um, it's kind of a throwback to old text-based adventure games. And what that allows you to do then is we've got this whole list of verbs where you can uh, interact with the world. So you can take things, throw things, you can pry things open, but you'll have to have a prying element in your hand like a dagger or something that uh, qualifies as being able to pry with. Um, you know, there's a quest that sends you to use charcoal and parchment and rub it on an inscription, and then you get the inscription, and you take it back to somebody, right? So there's a lot of that kind of stuff going on as well. Um, yeah, we're very, very old school in that uh, no quest journal. We have a record of conversations that you have that you can go back and look through, but there's no quest journal. The quests are very kind of... They're a bit obtuse. If you play in one of our play tests, you'll you'll hear plenty of people, if you don't experience it yourself, plenty of people letting us know exactly how they feel about the fact that they can't figure out exactly what to do on the quest. And that's okay, because it's nice to hear how people feel. Did I do something... Did I do something goofy with my uh, buff bar? I don't believe my, I can see my buff bar. Saren said, get ready to bust out my old EQ Final Fantasy XI quest paper journal. Um, when we get the merchandise shop up, we'll sell little notebooks and they will be called quest journals. Day one buy, awesome. Yeah, it's going to be exciting getting the, uh... And this bug is so funny. Watch the crocodile. As the camera moves. It... Uh, hey Simon, what's going on? Where is the Enchanter's Guild? It's in the Harbor District. What is this guy? Yellow. Oh no. I may actually die. This guy's tough. I have survived. Got one of those Florida man gators there. He's all jacked up on meth and MGD. I can say that. I'm officially a Floridian. I talk about my uh, my teenage years. I talk about my teenage years in Alabama, but I'm, a, I'm actually a Floridian. I just lived in Alabama for several years once my dad retired there. Um, have you thought about making quests dynamic to some degree in order to circumvent people just looking up what to do online? Nope. It's, it's really not worth the effort because um, even if you either you're going like free form dynamic, which I'm not smart enough to figure out how to make that. And I don't know that I'd want it um, or you're just adding in more options that are also going to be put online. I think people looking stuff up online is beautiful. Some people are better at video games than others. Like Nick is very good at video games. And so he, he's got it in his head. Me, I've got to look stuff up on the Internet. I don't care if it's Zelda or whatever. I'm always looking stuff up on the internet, but you know what? That just makes it so that I can I can play. It doesn't cheapen the experience for anybody. Only me. Infantry and Florida Twinsies. What's up, Isan? How you doing, brother? Maybe it's the fact that we're from Florida that landed us in the infantry. <laughs> um... My... Sorry you had to go find all those people for your quest, but I swear they're findable. 
Any progress on trade skills you want to share? Nothing, nothing major worth sharing. Only the news that we're going to be working on them. Your dad forbade you from going to Florida, college in Florida, because he said the gators cheat. Aren't you British? Your dad knew about the gators cheating all the way over there. Interesting. Let's see. But you're born in ATL. You're an AT alien. Oh, your dad's from Georgia and went to UGA. Oh, right on. I did not. Okay. Atlantean Brit. Bjorn's over there in, in the UK saying, I dare say, dost thou have the latest Outcast album? Mumsy, Mumsy, when shall we return to Stankonia? Him <laughs> and Twenty One Savage. <laughs> I am not. I, I am not up on my newer, newer rap. Makes it sound like I live in a castle, I live in a gutter in Camden. I just assume everybody lives in a castle in the UK. That's not true. Holy shit, what's going on over there? Nick, do you see yourself? Do us y'all, do us y'all have the new. Nick's over here breaking the game. Um, yeah, so I, I, I just assume everybody is in England. It, it's either you're living life like it's uh, Downton Abbey. Or train spotting. Was train spotting England or Scotland? I forget. They're really the same thing, in my opinion. But I understand that Scottish people don't think that's true. Okay. That makes sense that it's Scotland. It's it's pretty cool. When I was a wee lad in the army, I met two young ladies from Britain in one of the bars in DC. And they were being nice to me. Until they started talking about the Beatles being the best band ever. And we debated that. And so then my friend went home with them instead. But I'm not compromising on my views about music. You're correct, Zoidberg. It was Nickelback. Nickelback versus the Beatles was the argument. Um, do you have plans to introduce lore of the world in webpage and or video nerve rack? said uh we'll introduce a we'll, we'll definitely introduce more of the lore as we get closer to um going live but we'll probably never go like super super heavy on the lore um because it just it's kind of like what was being asked earlier about the um what was being asked earlier about like spoilers and quests and stuff i 
I think there's just something magical about the community discovering that and posting it and, you know, the wikis and um, having theories. And um, so we want to make sure that there's enough lore to make you interested in the world um, and then let you find the rest and start piecing it together. And, um, you know, we'll do our best to be as consistent as possible and have a, you know, we've got our own internal wiki that we use, a Confluence. Um, that's just kind of overpriced corporate wiki, but it works well. I like it. So we'll have a ton of shit in there. One of the things is starting to do this week, even we're starting to clean up some pieces of the timeline and write out a little bit more stuff, but we've got some big brains on the team, some creative folks, and we're going to continue to hash away at the lore. But we, we've basically started with from the time the planet was formed until now. And we're trying to have an understanding of major events and locations and the origin of species and things like that. Um, you know, all the different races, when they came in, why, all of that stuff. Um, you know, civilizations that have lived in this area and then been wiped out and other civilizations been wiped out, even newer shit, right? So we want to have all of that available um, for us. And we want that to be pushed into the game, but we want it to be something that isn't like, you know, while you're waiting on the game to come out, it, it, we're just doing these long, long, you know, like here's all of the lore just to sort of like, I don't know, be a pre-hook or something. Just, it's, I think it's, it would be cool if we can nail the whole you finding it out and this kind of stuff. Serence, oh, that was back. I always, it's always fun to look up and see the previous conversation that's kind of dead now, but then I kind of want to revive it when someone said something cool that I missed. Oh, I got smacked. Um, Serence said, next we're going to see Sean talk about Soldier Boy. Probably not Soldier Boy, but maybe whip out a Master P. Let me see it. Let me hear him say, oh, oh, nah, nah, nah. um, dude, that's been forever. I probably got that wrong. Let's see. Is that Tug Speedman, Hollywood Superstar? <laughs> How did you know? I'm in disguise. Um, Notice your splash screens during zone transitions and it wet my appetite. That is what we're that's what we want to do. We want to we want to get all your appetites wet, but we don't want to drown you. We don't want to shovel it in your mouth. Um and it seems like Hot Kittens and Nerve Wrecked, the original asker of the question, both agree with the approach, so we are off to a good start. Yeah, so things like the splash screen and stuff, definitely, well, there'll be more of it. And there'll be, like, putting little little samplers. Putting little samplers out there. Is... Little chicken samplers. Is some lore books discovered in-game? Yeah. That'd be cool. Hey, Keebs. Maybe even make that, like, build that into something like the archaeology, um, you know, trade skill or something. You know, basically have it be kind of a research thing where you combine, you find this stuff, combine it, and then boom, you get, you get a little lore, a little lore out of it, a little chunklet of lore, scroll or a book. Saren said yes, all caps. Four exclamation marks. So, Sarah, don't let me forget to do that in, at some point. Um, that type of thing could actually make libraries cool and worth exploring. Somebody a long time ago said, wouldn't it be cool if you could donate the books to the library? And then your name would be on it. Kind of a, a bit of a, uh, like a Stardew meets RPG. Don't let me forget that one either. 
Do different races in the game disagree about the lore, or is everything consensus? No, there's definitely some disagreements um, and some different interpretations, and even some different in interpretations of who a god is based on who it is. Um, even, you know, the most obvious one are the three moons in the sky. People have a, uh, people have some different takes on what the moons mean and who the moons are. And see, the more, like, you know, definitive we are on that stuff, the less fun that part is as well. But not to say, um, not to say that we've got it all figured out. Please don't take it as me trying to bullshit you and be like, we've written all the lore, it's perfect, and we're, you know, it's the best lore. We've got the best lore. Um, it's, you know, it's still stuff that we're working on. It's, PvP servers, the rule sets based off of lore, the, the moon interpretation. We believe it's cheese! Oh, speaking of which, someone up above said something about playable rat man. But it... I can't find it. I think I've missed it. I'll just say, we have got enough work cut out for us with all the races, so... No playable rat man anytime soon. Living collection of books from real adventurers. Imagine looking through it after a few years of playing, uh, coming through. Wouldn't that be cool? Hopefully we don't forget that one. Why, but do you smell like Parmesan? Oh, that joke's cheesy. I'd fix, I'd fix it for you, but you don't have the cheddar. <sighs> Parmafrost. New zone idea. Oh no! Oh no! Heal him! Oh no! Nick, Nick is getting chewed on. Fight me! Absolutely love how ridiculously large that sword is. I don't know that it's gonna stay that large forever, but it is... It's pretty large. This sword is a shower. Quick sound of laughter at that. Oh, oh, oh my. <laughs> Sorry, Serenth. Pineapple? Hmm. We had tacos tonight. It's because it's Friday. And what we learned in Sweden is that um, they don't have Taco Tuesday, they have Taco Friday. And they, I'll be honest with you, if you go to a Swedish grocery store, like a, an Ica, Ica, I-C-A is the store name. Um, you go to a Swedish grocery store and they've got an incredible selection of, um, taco related stuff good selection germany stepped up its game on the taco front as well somebody somebody was in chat the other day we talked about this and somebody was in chat the other day from norway and said they would do it on friday as well zoidberg said no tacos for us tonight we're headed to the hospital for an induction oh man induction huh not an abduction, induction. Well, congratulations. Don't be too nervous. Dude, Nick is over there crashing my client. Look, 
you just dropped me down to four frames. Oh man. So Zoidberg, exciting. That's exciting. No tacos for us tonight. Need a taqueria. Where was it? Oh, there it is. Karma Leech. I was trying to find it. Karma Leech said, I'm from Norway. We also do it on Fridays. It was a different Norwegian, but that's kind of neat that the Scandinavians all kind of pick Friday. Robert is also from Sweden. Sverige. I did not realize that Sweden was not called Sweden in Sweden. It took me a while to figure out what the hell is going on. In Sweden, Sweden is spelled S V E R I G. Yeah, what Karma Leach said. Which I don't know that I can pronounce. How do you pronounce? Huh? Sveria? It's pronounced, according to Jasmine, who speaks perfect Swedish. Sveria. Frijole Fridays. Well, where are you from? Frijole Fridays. Yeah. Sveria. And then, if you want to speak Swedish properly, and I think it's probably also similar for Norwegian. Um, when I was first trying to learn some Swedish back in the day, I listened to a lady on like Spotify that was doing like Spotify Swedish lessons. And she said that if you ever think you're ever uh, pronouncing a Swedish word with too much um, too much emphasis, then you are still not pronouncing a Swedish word uh, with enough emphasis. And listening to Swedes talk is the best thing on earth. I worked at a Swedish company for a few years and dude, it was amazing to hear them just talking. They, they go crazy with their R's, everything's like High pitched up and down. Oops, why do I keep doing that? What was that word that we heard on the show earlier? And I was like I'm trying to think of some words that you can get really wild with. Absolute? Absolute. <laughs> I'm trying to think of the ones with the R. I'm trying to think of word. I'm gonna buy spells. Oh, all right. I'm around to warm. Okay, cool. Let's do it. Let's do it, Nick. Let's do that. Um. And Pudding says, I tell my Swedish wife it's pronounced Sviraya. She hates it because that's incorrect. Svi, Svi Raya. They and they like trill their R's and stuff. Raya. Listening to them argue and uh, in the listen to the R's firing off and them going like up and down and inflection is. Oh, oh my god, I love it. So funny. Um. Carmel, you said, actually, I'm actually from Sweden, but moved to Norway. They say it uh, sounds like singing, singing sometimes. It is a very sing-songy language. I, th I think it's awesome. Sweden's a great place. Sweden is a great place. In Netherlands, they say Zea, and Zea, later, Zea later instead of see you later. In Sweden... They say, hey do, hey do. That's, that's when they're saying goodbye, hey do. And when you see them, they go, hey hey, hey hey. Or they go, uh, 
What is it? What's the other one, Jasmine? Shinya? Sh she huh? Shayna. 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 And let's see. Robert said, I'm from south of Sweden. The Swedish people, Swedish speaking people in Finland can hardly understand my accent. Swedes can't understand your accent if you're from the south either. What's the word again? Which one? Hey, hey. Hey, do. Shayna. Yogtala into Svenska. Yogtala into Svenska. Yogtala into Svenska. They answer yes by just inhaling quickly. Yeah, they do. I, I, I've told people this story a thousand times already, but I didn't know that they did that. And so one of the one of the one of the women that I was in the company with, whenever we were talking about stuff, she would always go. Every once in a while, while I'm talking, she'd go. And I'm like, oh man, I think she's got like a lung condition or something. I think she's got like a health problem, but I didn't want to ask about it because it's like a health problem. It's work. I don't need to know that information from her. And then I am in a meeting later on and, and I'm sitting there in a the meeting and there's three other Swedes in there. They're talking and I'm just kind of chilling out. And I notice all of a sudden that they're all three at different points going, And I was like, oh shit. And so I stopped him. I was like, whoa, 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 whoa. Whoa, 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 whoa. What's going on? Why are you doing that? <laughs> what? And they didn't know at first. I was like, they're like, what? The, the inhale thing. They're like, what? <laughs> I'm like, the inhale thing. What are you doing? Huh? <laughs> oh, no, that's just, yeah, that's an acknowledgement. I'm like, and so I just tell him the story. I was like, I've been watching her do that for like two weeks, wondering what was long, wrong with her lungs. I felt bad for her. I, I wasn't sure how much longer she had. And uh, nope. They thought that was amazing. That should be our drinking sound effects in game. Only if it's really hot. We should have multiple drinking sound effects. Uh, careful now, you said yes to something. I say yes to everything. That is, it's a rule in improv. I'm a trained improvisator. Improvisationist. Alright, so I'm gonna sneak over here without being killed. I'm sneaking. I'm a giant ogre sneaking. <laughs> My wife started doing the slurps with me when we first met and she was wondering why I kept shoving drinks at her and cough drops. <laughs> I was like, <laughs> oh man. So hello is So hello, so hello is he he in Sweden? Well, now that you say it that way, I don't. It, it's throwing me. I'm like, wait. Now I can't even do the sound. There's, yeah, it's like hey hey. Hey hey. Robot steps on a branch. Modem dialing noises intensify. <laughs> I'm sneaking, Crunch. Oh shit, disconnect. Oh my god. Hi guys. Can I fit in here? 
Okay. Do 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 do. Hello isn't. It's pronounced more like hey hey. I'm not. Hmm. How is that different? Hey hey. <laughs> Hi is hey. Hello, hello is probably different. Hala? Hala is hello in Arabic, Ali said. Hala at your boy. Hala, hala, hala. Hala, hala. Hala, 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 hala. <laughs> oh. When I'm... Ali, when I come over to Arabia to hang out with you, I'm just gonna walk around and be like, hala, hala, hala. Hala, wala. What are you trying to get me to say? Is that something obscene? You guys don't even have obscene words over there. When keeping it real goes wrong for Sean. <laughs> uh, aura vampirism. What's this do? It's level one. Then why, why haven't I had it so far? Um... Locate corpse. I'm going to get that because that may help us. Life drain. Two. Grip of agony. Kick. Weapon shield. I want that as well. Visibility versus undead. How long do I have until I level? Oh, I got a while. Brain death. All right. I'm going to start with these guys. Hey, Kobe said I used to live in Saudi. Area n called... Dahran. Loved it. Literally nicest people I've ever met. I mean, dude, Ali is one of the nicest people on the planet Earth. So I believe it. Ali said... Dahran is like 40 minutes from my house. See? That's why they're so nice there. Ali has rubbed off on them. You na nailed the pronunciation, by the way? Did I? I can't do it again. <laughs> I can't do it if I'm thinking about it. I'm self-conscious. I get nervous. <laughs> I get awkward like Tina from Bob's Burgers. I go, uh, uh, Europeans often make fun of Americans for using time as distance like that. Um, I'm glad we're not the only ones to do it. Europeans make fun of Americans all the time for everything, and it's just because Europeans are dumb. Shh. Excuse? What? What is that? Are you threatening me? I am a permanent resident of this country. I get to say what I want about the country. That's not true. They'll take my card. They'll do it. The wife is losing it, listening to all the Swedish talk. She also just admitted that Swedish, her opinion was most likely created by listening to babies babble to one another. <laughs> you sure it wasn't like woodland creatures? Or like... Oh? We? We should... We should... <laughs> we should change our language to sound like a Disney cartoon? It'd be adorable. And uh, baby, woodland baby creatures. I can see it with real big eyes. Like the scene where Thumper and Bambi are all hanging out. Stinker or whatever the skunk's name was. I don't remember the skunk's name. The language sounds like everyone has snooze in their upper lip at all times. Because they have a snooze in their lips at all times. The Danish comment. The Danish comment. Most Swedes think Danish was created by speaking Swedish with a potato in the mouth. I thought it was a sock. 
It's potato for everyone. Potato or <laughs> yeah, sock. Hey, wait a second. Well, that's Danish, and then Dutch just sounds like a German got struck in the head really hard with something, and they're trying to recover. <laughs> What Dutch? Yeah. <laughs> we're just we're just talking shit about entire country. We're like the UN of hater. We uh we're sharing. We're sharing the love. Uh, Bambi Skunk's name was Flower. Thank you, Mushnar. Flower. Oh yeah, that's right. That's so cute. Oh, I did not. I did not press the looping. Now it's looping. Uh, I love the German language, but every time I hear it, it sounds like everyone is yelling. I often had to... Not true. Uh, calm down. I've often had to ask people at work. <laughs> I'd have to ask them. I would stop them and go, Are you, are you being angry or... Or just German. Which, if they were angry, would usually redirect the anger towards me. That is me hitting the provoke button up here. For those of you interested in how the game works, you push provoke. Directs all of the anger towards you. Um, let's see. But yeah. So, the Swede the Swedes are extremely clever. Uh, that's what I've I've determined. Swedes are probably some of the smartest people in the world. Um, and I know this because I think most of Sweden is fake. <laughs> I think I think the number of actual Vikings that have existed in Sweden is probably the same as actual natural blondes in Sweden. Um, which is to say, I don't know that there's ever been a single one. And the the viking story i am fairly certain that a swede went down to germany and ran into some barbarians and came back as fast as humanly possible and was like two things one never go south again past this point two let's make up a story about how do we wear horns on our head and do mushrooms and attack our enemies while naked and they're like holy shit that's brilliant where'd you find that germany that actually sounds like germans <laughs> going back to snooze Putin said my wife was just so amazed I didn't do snooze because like their entire population is addicted. She fell for me instantly. Big mistake. Yeah, I was shocked at the number of people that uh Oh, that's cool. My buff bar is missing and I don't want to reset my UI. Let me see if I can do this and find it. Excuse me. No. What did I do with my buff bar? So anyways, uh, I can't show you the actual buff because my buff bar is missing, um, but Nick has buffed me with sense magic and so when I consider Nick I can see that he's got the following buffs on him as part of his con sense magic holy fortitude and wood skin which is pretty cool pretty cool pretty. I'm forgetting the English were tiny then due to malnutrition that's yeah, true. That is one thing that kind of threw me. I expected Swedes to be much taller. 
The Danes, I think, are taller than the Swedes on average, in my anecdotal experience. Somebody's probably going to be watching this video because I'm going to tag it with the title. Um, I've already got one in my range slot, but thank you for reminding me because I totally forgot. Cool, let's do it. Let's do it. What? What's he got? Hey, most thanks. Bye. How you been? So this this video got recommended to me. This little short video on Instagram got recommended to me, and the song is stuck in my head. I don't know if you've seen it, but it's the one with the dog, and it's it's funny. I'm 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 officially turning into my parents. This is a, the story my parents would tell. I saw this video on Instagram. It was the sweetest thing. It was about this dog. And uh, the song is the cheese tax song. Do you know, do you know the cheese tax song? Does anybody in here know that song? Can't complain, that's nice. Oh, we always have to pay the cheese tax, Jenny T said. Most thanks for I said my lady was singing that song the other day. The cheese tax, the cheese tax. Dude, it's so good. It's just so good. What's up, Be More Gaming? That guy makes a bu bunch of songs like that. He needs to make a like a full length song about the cheese tax. And the dog in the video that I saw is just fantastically perfect for it. Effects is effects. Gonna eat the cheese. Oh, when the cheese comes out, you gotta pay the tax. My god. In many, many, many ways, I feel like the internet was a mistake, but that almost redeems it. Ah! We've made a clerical error. Oh, I should probably slam him mid-cast next time. Wait a second. What are you fighting? Aren't you supposed to be behind him? Something is wonky. Oh, shit. He's got the stanky leg. We need different music for this dance.
Robert, what BPM is the skeleton dancing at? That seemed like a, a new disco BPM. So 90 BPM. What's wrong with that skeleton, Ollie? That is our question to you, sir. Spooky, <laughs> spooky, scary skeletons. That, that just made me think of the song, Werewolf Bar Mitzvah. Uh, spooky, scary. Oh, yeah, you're right. I should load my kick. Nick, are you even in, in the stream or are you just in group? Here, I'll say in party. Boop, 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 boop. Nick ain't even on Discord. Oh, shit. Well, he's also not. Yeah, I got a bunch of spells I haven't loaded. Yet. Yeah, you're right. I got spells and I didn't add them to my spell bar. All right, so kick. Get that going. Um, Weapon shield as soon as that's done. He's doing a soldier boy. Like, it looked like 142, pretty fast. That's fair. Grip of Agony. Uh, let's see. Grip of Agony causes enemy to rise in a Grip of Agony dealing 12 at level 1. That seems neat. What else we got? Oh, I don't know that I grabbed the vampire one. I didn't grab vampiric, whatever. But life train's probably handy. Oh, Nick just happened to have an extra copy of the spell on him. We're totally not cheating. We're playing very normally. But those of you guys watching the VOD specifically just to see some gameplay, you don't care for cheating, right? Aura Vampirism. What does it do? An aura which causes the melee attacks of your group to have a chance to drain life from your enemies. Damn, that is a very cool spell. Uh, but it's an aura, so I could probably put it down there. We'll see. I'm getting used to the characters, so I have to uh, rearrange my shit later, I guess. Grip of Agony. Oh, it's got a crazy cooldown. Okay, that probably shouldn't have been put there. Um, or an oh shit thing. So. Um, weapon shield is a buff, basically. Nice. Okay. So, let's start applying some of these. Though, I... I really need my buff bar. Damn it. I'm going to have to reset my UI. Are you sure? No, I don't want to, but I need to see my buff bar, so. I could, I could uh, consider myself, but then I, I wouldn't have the visual, but you, you're absolutely on point with, uh, with that, Nick. And I thought it, I considered considering myself, but then I was like, I kind of just want to have the visuals up here so I can at a glance it. Um, and then move this down a little bit. I think I'm not looking at, I'm not looking at the, whatchamacallit, Streamlabs, so I don't know. Aura of Vampirism needs an icon. What? Official announcement. Server shutting down in 60 seconds. That's... Oh. What? 
Stupid GMs. Oh my god. Oh. Makes me so mad. At them. Alright, we need to get back to the zone line. Better get a refund. Disrespecting my time. Sixty seconds. Go to a Reddit page and complain. I am heading straight to Reddit in thirty seconds, Jintaki. That is a good idea. Demand your money back. Ali, can could you give me all my money back, please? Um, GM is stream sniping us and aggressively ruining our experience. Game is unplayable, Ollie. Just put down a campfire, as you can say. That's true. We want our wood back. How dare you? Putin, where in Sweden is your wife from? I meant to ask that earlier. Stockholm. Oh, cool. Born and raised in Stockholm? I couldn't imagine anybody being born and raised in Stockholm, though. Not in the city. Born in Estonia. Aha. Okay. Raised in Stockholm. Cool. Cool. Where in Estonia? Tallinn. Parnu. Did they ever finish that tunnel from um, Estonia to to Finland? Robert said, "I've been to Parnu. It's nice. I've been there a few times." I have not checked out any of those countries. I still want to make it out and to visit Finland. I love the bathing culture. Pudding says, love the bathing culture. So many amazing bathhouses. No good bathhouses in the UK, Bjorn says. I am not shocked. The UK is not known for its bathing culture. <laughs> we have a town called Bath. Still no bathing. Whoa, did you hear that, Robert? What just happened to me? Oh man, that kind of scared me because that show that we were watching. I don't know, I just... I didn't... I didn't like... I logged out, but I didn't go all the way out and like sort of restart my client. It's in uh... It's in editor. And I pushed enter and it just like scared me. Internet cryptids. Oh. Was it what uh, that causes a crash if you try logging a second time from account login? Oh, interesting. That's the first time I've hit that one. Nick is here. He's just been hiding the whole time. Lurking.
What what which book was it? Was it was it Neuromancer? Where um they 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 eventually get the assistance from the the spirits in the internet. But yeah, does anybody know the the there is a tunnel being built between a tunnel being built between I think Helsinki and like Tallinn or something like that. Not sure the tunnel's finished. That it it just sounds so sketchy to me. Well, that's repud. <laughs> Unity's just like, I'm out of here. I'm out of here. The server isn't coming up. We have, we have, we have officially destroyed the game. I don't even think they've started the tunnel. It, that may be better that they didn't. Given the pipeline issues in that part of the woods, I don't know that I would be using that tunnel anytime soon. Too much awesomeness. The server blew up and killed the hamsters. Oh, don't say it. That's sad. Damn, that got really dark really fast, Talat. They finished the tunnel, but it just goes from brothel to brothel. What are you trying to say about the Estonians, Bjorn? Tallinn Tunnel. Let me look it up. The link is here. Is a proposed undersea tunnel that would span the Gulf of Finland and connect to Finnish and Estonian capitals by train. Proposed. But on February 2024, Finnish Minister of Transport and Communications, Lulu Rane, oh Lulu, told Estonian Daily Postemis, or whatever, that the tunnel is unrealistic and not on the agenda of the government, with the project remaining on hold unless further funding was provided by the European Union. Well, alright, so the tunnel is not going to happen. Unrealistic, I can give several examples of tunnels in real life. Under the sea? Under the sea. No. The server up? The server should be up? Yep, I'm on my way in. I gotta restart Unity. Under the sea. Speaking of, speaking of Sweden and Scandinavians, tomorrow we're going to go see a fun Swedish band that we've seen once, twice, once, twice. We definitely saw them in Stockholm. 
Um, a band called The Baboon Show. Very energetic when we've seen them. And the fun thing is it's it's like right close to here as well. Kind of an odd venue. And it'll be at 3 p.m., which would be nice. Because then we can see them and still have the whole rest of our evening. Been hooked on a Swedish folk band called First Aid Kit. Pretty good group, Talat says. I'll have to. Jasmine will probably look that up. She is a big fan of stuff like that. Barbecue Poetry said, Y'all building down here? No. This is our own proprietary dungeon formula. Oh, I wish you would. Be a lot cooler if you would. <laughs> First aid kit, Jasmine, banned. Look them up. Puddin says, First aid kit is pretty great. Hope you make one that's extremely dangerous and obscure. Barbecue poetry before it's all said and done we're gonna make we're gonna make something both dangerous and obscure I guarantee it I guarantee it my sword is uh, really This sword is made for sneaking. I can I can just imagine it scratching along the rooftop. Oh shit. Where's Zukin? Ollie refunded our wood. Oh, nice. That is customer service. Never have it said that the M&M team does not do customer service. Make sure you have it so if your pet glitches through a wall, it hits the bottom of the bottom floor and the entire zone trains the entrance barbecue now that you've requested it we are absolutely going to do that did i turn on aura and weapon shield so i turned on weapon shield i forgot to turn on aura i was going to check and see if it was up there and then i realized that uh i remember the icon is different eminem customer service they'll give you wood that is a good t-shirt your professionalism. Where are you? Where are you, Nick? There you go. Pineapple. Sorry, Ali.
Even MCS team is just a bunch of goblins and a half thing. <laughs> oh man. I'm so excited to, to see customer service zooming around in game. Thank you. Yep. Have you seen the first halfling to make it into Night Harbor Guard? Yes, there is one. He's adorable. I'm diseased. Any plans to have volunteer GMs to help with smaller tickets? Don't know about volunteers. It would be really great if we could get to a point where at least it's paying a little bit. Um, there's just, there's some complications with the whole volunteer thing that might be better for us to avoid. And if we're at the point that we need that much help, hopefully that, that means that we've got enough players. Um, I mean, the, the reality is when we first go live, we'll probably be doing a fair amount of customer service ourselves as well, but we'll see as we get closer if we've got a good understanding of how many folks are going to be playing and, um, you know, we can, we can start to look into, uh, we can start looking into like bring some, you know, one or more people in to, sorry, I'm like, in to help us, but, 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 um, um, yeah, we'll see. Sorry, all right, let me actually try to talk now that I'm not watching this guy cast spells. Um, yeah, so as we get closer to going live, we'll have a better understanding of whether or not we're bringing um, some additional help on for customer service. If it's a smaller launch when we go live, um, Nick said, look at my character, you're staring deep into your soul. Dude, with that face, he's just judging the shit out of me. He's like, could you please interrupt these spells? Um, let's see, the... Uh, but if it's a, if it looks like it's a smaller launch, then we'll probably be doing a lot of pulling tickets and helping ourselves. Um, and then as things build up, it would be nice to uh, it'd be nice to to have it, um, you know, have the opportunity to start to bring on some people out. It's the, that's the face tracking. Yeah, I don't. Mm, I'm not sold. Well. But then again, you've got me targeted, right? Yeah, Nick said he did have me targeted. Okay, if he's if you he had me targeted, then that makes sense and that feels okay. That's not bad at all. I thought it was just kind of doing it on its own, which always kind of sketches me out. Love how tight this dungeon is. Yeah, like tighter, tighter zones are definitely nice and that that nice cozy claustrophobic feel. It's like being wrapped in a nice, warm, loving blanket of dungeon. Oh, there's Druid. 
Didn't see you down there, buddy. We got the cleric pulling. We have Nick pulling. <laughs> hey, Roberts. Hey, now. Pineapple. You're going to have people talking about us on Reddit. I was watching the VOD of their game development, and there was a lot of really inappropriate humor. That is not how professionals behave. Oh shit. It's the Quartermaster. Oops. Why'd I kick him? Make your MMO popular on <laughs> MMORPG to complain about. It's, they like, they really did like us there. That was really, that was a great time. I was watching a VOD and there was a lot of inappropriate talk. When is game release? You were happy to see the MMO spotlight on subreddit? Yeah, that turned out really well for us. That was super cool. And thank you everybody for going and having all, you know, passing along all the kind comments and answering questions and stuff. What if, what if NPCs had attack music that you heard only when fighting them, not your own fighting music? That's interesting. Seems like a lot of, seems like that'd be a lot of work, but it's interesting. Show us what he dropped. 50 feet of hemp and rope, rope. A mining pick. That's pretty cool. A zombie skin and a zombie skin. I'm taking this mining pick for sure. <laughs> Legend has it that the sub-based sub -based dead game guy is still being downvoted to this day. That poor guy. He was our first kind of negative comment. And uh, yeah, he immediately had like 30 downvotes. You guys are vicious. Oh, that was just Provisioner? I didn't even look. I just clicked. That was Provisioner, you're right. There's Bruce Roy. What's he got? Rusty Warhammer, Scraps, Residue, Rope. The response to you guys downvoting was that community is just an echo chamber to which your response is the company has cult in the name What about like a heartbeat sound or whatever that's increasing in volume as you're getting closer and closer to death?
Play Call of Duty, going to add the red around the UI too. Probably not that far. Probably not that far. And it could be an optional thing. Turn it off if you don't like it. I thought we'd had that for this game for a while. Which part? Oh, hey, Cleric. Oh, he's going for it. He's going for it. Screen blurs, heart rate increases, movement slows. Oh. That's just, we, we got you so in the groove when you were playing that you, you added that. Your mind added it. Robert, I don't know how the rest of the team would feel about it, but I'd be interested in trying it out as even if it's like something like a you know a toggle put an option in because my dumb ass i'm never paying attention so all of a sudden i'd start hearing my heart pov oh no time to pay attention by the way what by the way what ollie You implemented more movement anti-cheat? Nice. If someone attempts to cheat, can we put in audio files to talk to them? Be like, hey. Hey, jackass. We know you're trying to cheat right now. No, it's okay. No, don't panic. Don't panic. Just stop. <laughs> yeah, don't do it. We can use AI to, like, have their account information just fed into it. Hey, we know it's you, little Timmy Timmelson. We see you cheating, yeah. <sighs> Someone cheats, I should prep special audio messages to them in game horror music and threatening speeches. That'd be amazing. <laughs> Have you ever thought about put bug bounties for people who discover hacks um, in game basically incentivize them to come to you versus using Explorer releasing it to the public? Oops, sorry. Vampiric Aura is down. No, but Vampiric Aura is... Oh. Did I need to reactivate it because you weren't in the group the first time I cast it or... Hmm, okay. Hopefully we have a, you know, good enough relationship with the people that'd be willing to do something like that, that they hit us up. I mean, we've already had some people hit us up with stuff. We've had some kind people um, mention some stuff they found. Oh man, thank you. Does it have to be money? Why couldn't it be like sub credits or something? Cool. It 
sub credits and we we publicly thank them at the uh, at the fanfare whenever we have one and if it's a big enough thing then who knows maybe we even bring them out to the fanfare oh man I, I use my kick prematurely Oops, sorry. Oh my god, why is he full health again? I was just trying to taunt the other guy off you. Well, that felt like a fight. How cool is it that this kind of intense grouping activity can be had even at level 4? Yeah. That was nice. Did I just hear free meal based on bug finding? Okay, so maybe that 4 trillion I made in M&M M &M was not completely this shit. Like to go to Ponderosa for dinner, please. I'll take you to Sizzler. Less intensive heals get interrupted. Hey, listen, Ida Fab. We don't need armchair shadow knighting from you. I was kicking earlier. Kick is an interrupt, my dear friend. Kicks your target, interrupting their casting, locking them down, locking them out of that school of magic for four seconds. Do you think a class race should get a headbutt move to stun? Should that be exclusive to gnomish fighters? A uh, dwarf interrupt with headbutt. I think that's also kind of fair. Blame Nick for not stunning. Okay, as long as you're not blaming me. Actually, don't. Don't blame Nick either. Blame Canada? You guys, Canada's not even a real place. Oh man. We got another cleric. Oops. What? What happened to the cleric just then? Fourteen damage, sixteen you clapped him good really that was me? 
holy shit. No, cleric 16. But I hit him for six. Oh, you're right. I did hit him for 14 before that. Damn. I mean, yeah, of course. That was me. Nick, Nick's trying to claim that he nuked it with Ward, Ward the Dead. But I'm fairly certain it was just... It was the strength of my sword. Thirty-five damage nuke, undead only. I don't believe it. I think it was my thirty of melee damage. Time to pull out the logs. No logs, for that very reason. Logs? Logs? Your party member, Tug, has slain a zombie laborer. Have you watched the Plaid Dupe episode on Drama Quest? I don't think I did. I don't, I don't know. Is it a more recent episode, Corbin? All right, we got a fighter. Got two fighters. Two days ago, okay. I have to take a look. I was skimming through uh, Zade's um, Pantheon playtest VOD as well. It was interesting because he was mentioning not uh, not wanting to be how did he play i don't want to say it i don't want to put words in his mouth but he, he was saying something along the line the lines of wanting to enjoy the progression a bit more and not needing to be the the person at the various highest levels um but instead like chasing a dragon and said no it's out there but enjoy the journey a bit more. Something along those lines, I thought he was saying, which I thought was interesting. Wonder if more and more people are gonna fall into that category. A nice slow leveling, leveling, leveling game where you can just come in and make some progress.
I agonized that guy to death. Slow leveling for the win. What else are you guys saying? All right, Saren said, all right, done with work. Get to leave, take care of robot and stream. Saren, have a wonderful weekend. Be safe on the way home from work and see you next week, maybe. Court said, with a new game, want to see, do stuff first. With an older game, you want to get the end game because that's where the best stuff is. Those things are so appealing, so many people over just slowly checking checking things up. Um, is the last part of the sentence explained? Dragon says, slow, win, slow leveling for the win. Pudding says, gives you a reason to twink an alt character to crush that phase with surety. There's a lot of Shadow Knight character at low levels. Very cool to see how different it is to fighter already. Mm -hmm. Hell's Ridge said, I'm enjoying just slowly unlocking stuff in Guild Wars 2. The horizontal progression is great because I can pop in and out whenever. Right on. Oops. Wrong button. What's some of your favorite favorite horizontal progression stuff in Guild Wars 2, Hell's Rich? For some reason, I just think it would be cool to be able to drop a torch down at the end of that hall. Um, Hell's Ridge says there are mastery points you can find on the map to unlock mount skills uh, with which... Uh, which is what I'm doing at the moment. Oh, cool. Can you not put one on the wall? I don't think there is a mount. I don't think there's an empty mount down there. We were taking torches from our backpack and putting them on the wall. I didn't think we needed an empty spot. Maybe it's too dark for me to realize. Yeah, there should be a... There should be an empty... Oops. Fain death. Fain death. Uh, Fain death. Now, there should have been a mount there. First death of the game. Corpse one is going to be fun. We got this. No cheating. No cheating. Only had a mage to make you bread. Mage bread. Ugh. Tastes horrible. 
Sean says no cheating seconds after Nick's already cheated. I am not the boss of Nick. He can cheat if he wants to. Nope. That's not that is not the case, Bjorn. Bajern, if that is your real name. Yeah, I had a when I was first moving to Sweden I had uh, a gentleman named Bjorn try to try to rip me off by advertising an apartment with that was too good to be true. And it was too good to be true. Got to get that mole on your shoulder blade checked. No, that's that's where ogres derive their power. Bjorn actually means something. Bjorn doesn't mean anything as far as you know. Bjorn means bear. Bjorn means silly bear. Oh, can it grow? Yes, that is that is where goblins come from. I know it's a soft J, but it's more fun when it's a hard J. Let me enjoy my hard J, Bjorn. It's been one of those kind of nights. So are ogres fungus? No, goblins are. Disgusting. Germany just legalized hard J's. <laughs> Everybody's so excited about Germans. Uh... Germany's like, listen here, listen. We're going to shut down all of our factories. All major industry is moving out of the country and energy and food is going to cost much, much more. But you can smoke the reefers. You can smoke the reefers now. So everybody just calm down. Calm down and smoke the reefer. Das reefer, der reefer, die reefer. Ich weiß nicht genau. Jasmin, welches ist es? Das Riefer, der Riefer, die Riefer. Das Marijuana. Der Marijuana. Die Marijuana. Das? Okay. I was trying to figure out what gender the marijuana was. Aren't most international words D? Jasmine are most international words D. I think most international words are der. Unless they're French, then they're then they're D. Actually there's a there's a fourth gender in German language for American words. It's that D A T. There's das, der, d, and dat. That would. That dog. That dog. <laughs> Dude, tonight's a silly night. Ugh. Fridays might be silly. Oh, so no stream next Friday because I'm getting my finger cut off on Thursday. So I think I'll still have a big clump bandage. So that's probably not going to be conducive to to typing. Um, maybe a stream, maybe streams the following week. But I'll definitely, I'll try to get a stream in on, oh, hey, bat. Ask to keep it in a jar. Man, they're not really cool about letting you keep your body parts in Germany. 
Hopefully not the nose picking finger. Nope, nope. It's an old excuse. I'm sorry I can't stream amputation. <laughs> Sean Field is Yakuza boss. That will be the story. How much of a finger am I losing? Um, two thirds. Pinky does have surprising reach around the nose. I don't know that I'm a, much of a pinky browser. Was this due to the rolling incident? Um, unsure, unsure. I broke my finger. Um, I broke my ring finger. And um, while it was healing, my, my pinky started just getting stiff from disuse. So I was trying to move it as much as possible. Um, and, uh, then after I got the cast off and stuff, at some point my finger just swole up and then we got it checked and it was, um, the tendons, the tendons were all jacked up and they didn't, didn't look to be recoverable. So rather than have them like weld it into one position, which would get in the way um, of a bunch of stuff, I just elected to have them, uh, remove it. Remove. Oops. My hand to hand is increased. You didn't want to have something cool happen like a table saw instant? Nope. The, the big curiosity that we've got coming up is whether or not the insurance will cover the prosthetic. So that is the only big question really beyond the whole just having a finger cut off part. I mean, that, there's a question there as well, but... But, you know, that should be... That should be fine. Thought Germany had national health? Um, Germany... Does provide health care for... 15% of your salary. Um, and I think... That's part of the problem. I'd be curious if we had private insurance, if it would be easier to get a prosthetic or not. I think you probably get a little bit better customer service when you've got private, but just the standard German insurance. Um, they get to decide whether or not I get it. Uh, yeah, so that's the idea if we um, if we wind up not If we wind up not being able to get the Get the finger uh, Get the prosthetic then We'll see about 3d printing something cool. I've been research. I've been researching uh, the various 3d printed designs not a fan of any of the publicly posted 3D printed designs like Nick's finger and stuff. Not to be critical of it. Um, but just not not what I'm looking for necessarily. So we'll probably design a new one based off of the one that I'd like to get. Um, can't 3D print the metal, but I can 3D print the, like the plastic to basically get all of the everything designed properly and then I can send the plastic to um, have it turned into metal. What are you guys talking about? 
Vitaly said, just Google pl prosthetic fingers. Genuinely impressed. Had no idea otherwise in some cases. I don't want one of the realistic ones. Vitaly, look up, um, was it naked prosthetics finger? Uh, MCP, I think. You got this without me. Those look badass. I know, that's why I want one. Be like, listen, if you're not going to give me one of these... MCP drivers, then you're not, maybe I don't want my finger cut off. They should tell me in advance. That's unethical. <laughs> um, yeah, but to just buy one outright, it's like... <sighs> buy one outright, something like, I think it's between five and $10,000 for one of those. Zukin says, Shapeway is a 3D printing service I've used before. I think they have metal options. Not sure if they service zero, though. Interesting. Don't let me forget that. So see, that corpse recovery was decent enough. So yeah, those of you that those of you that didn't look it up, this is this is the prosthetic setup that I'd like to get. Um, but it's really it, it's going to be a question of whether or not they're going to they're going to cover it, or if I'm just going to have to. Uh, learn something from their design. Unfortunately, it looks like Nick died. Could you just get a whole NA NES plower glove? Um, I don't think insurance will cover that either. Should get a gold finger if I can't afford a plastic finger. You think I can afford a gold finger, Ali? Ali, can you claim me as a dependent and then I'll come over to Bahrain and get a I'll get a free gold finger? Don't worry, we'll just make a gold fund me to get your 24 karat gold finger. Would that be unethical to leverage the M&M community to buy me a finger? <laughs> oh my god. It's so much money though, I'd rather spend that money on something else. Hot tub stream for a gold finger? I could probably do that. Would that be unethical? That would be my one and only day on OnlyFans. The one, the one and only stream on OnlyFans that Eminem streamed from OnlyFans. MCP Live said OnlyFans. 
MCP. The the prosthetic I want is an MCP. Can't you hook me up? Do you know somebody there? If any members of our community are a member of Naked Prosthetics, please reach out. We will we will we will let you play with us behind the scenes. We will bribe you for a finger. They'll be pissed on Reddit. I heard they're claiming to not take any money from the community. Well, I heard they're taking finger money. I heard about the finger money as well. Also, dental implants would be nice for me, Fanner said. Hey, Fanner, how many dental implants do you need? Do you need 10 dental implants by any chance? If you come to Germany, we'll hook you up with 10 dental implants and then I'll be able to afford the finger. Need two so far, uh, but I need a total of six. Germany giving out implants? No, but I know a person. My wife's looking at me like, don't even joke about that. Why did you make it sound like you have a dental implant frequent customer stamp card? Just a few more to my free implant? Oh, I'm going to tell Jasmine about that idea. A Scorched Academy Folio. Nice. That's something. Buddy wants his uh, teeth implants. Talks about it all the time. Had such bad luck with his teeth. Uh, always take care of him. Oh, that's sad to hear. Feel bad for him. Hope he can get some payment. Yeah, that's a bummer. MCP said I could whip something up with my 3D printer. Jasmine would prefer that because she doesn't want me to buy a 3D printer just to start making fingers. <laughs> so you need a certified prosthesis. Sis, Closest partner to Germany is London. Nope, there's one in... Um, oh... Incoming. There's one a couple hours from here. Uh, Hanover, I think? So... Uh, 3D printed teeth. Uh, their website doesn't think so. Did you check out the OSUR? O-S-S-U-R website? Because that company bought Naked Prosthetics. Uh... Oh shit. Nick is down again. Get ready to run out of here. Get ready to run out of here.
Uh, strongly suggest before you cut the finger off, get a mold of it. Um, that would not be useful with the current state of my finger. <laughs> I don't. I'll show you my finger again in a moment. D loves pudding, and you'll. I thought that same thing too. I was like, you know what? Let me get a mold of my finger. I was like sitting on the couch going, if they're going to cut it off, I should get a mold of it first so that I'll have, they can use that for reference. Here, let me, let me actually open up Streamlabs so I can see. The, the, the finger is permanently jacked like that. It doesn't, it's not for reference for nostalgia. Make a little statue of it, the witch finger statue. <laughs> I was thinking about ordering a kit off Amazon. That's what that's what triggered it. And then I was like, oh wait, I'm not gonna be able to use it for anything. Is it possible to get cadaver finger in its place? They once wanted to cut off my mom's foot. Um Um, I don't I don't know that it would actually function. And so the, the fact that all the fixes they recommended were very limited in, in function, range of motion. Um, just, could you get a cadaver foot where your finger used to be? Maybe. <laughs> Seemed like I got aggro on that pull in and they interrupt my healing unit. Oh. I just a foot mounted right here so I could just kick people in the face all day just walking around town just uh, the stream keeps on giving you're out of line <laughs> it's like that old line from the Billy Jack movies you see this foot I'm going to kick you with this foot on the side of your face and there's nothing you can do about it. Flying kick skill increase while slapping somebody with your hand. Would you have to buy two pair of shoes every time then? Well, in German, a glove is a hand shoe. It's a hand shoe. Perfect. I'm in the perfect country to have a Frankenstein foot nailed to my hand. Get back to the US, they're like, well, what in the hell happened to your hand? German doctors. I thought they all moved to Argentina. <sighs> if Eminem doesn't have a magic item that's your severed finger, I'm going to be very disappointed. I wouldn't be shocked if there's mini version of my severed finger. Matter of fact, you know how badass the, the disembodied hand was in EverQuest? We're just going to have a disembodied finger in our game. It's going to come wiggling at you like a scary worm. Does your pinky have any feeling yet left? Yeah, I, I actually, I feel it. Uh, I feel it pretty well. It, it, it feels like it looks like it feels like it's a finger of the maestro. Foot hand of the maestro. Hand foot of the maestro. Hand foot of hate. Um, yeah, so Quixana, I actually, it, it just feels like, it's funny, the knuckle here, you can feel the skin being pulled so tight across the tip of the knuckle right here. It just feels like it's just stretching. This is inverting. 
It's a lot of fun. Hear me out. I have a zone full of disembodied finger mobs, some of which are placeholder for cadaver, for a cadaver foot. It's all just fingers and noses. Quest for the lost finger bone hoop. Roberts, if you write the quest, we'll implement it. You just, you don't, you don't even have to write like the technical details of the quest. You just need to write the story. Think up some mobs. Think up some details, and we'll implement it for you. I think we've had too much of that marijuana, not DOS marijuana. Remember the rule. German is a gendered language, and marijuana's gender is American. Stonelist said, I must. I must say, watching you play this is making me jealous, but thank you for allowing us to be here with you. You know what? Thank you for being here, buddy. We're going to put this on the YouTubes, and hopefully people who aren't as familiar with the game or haven't played in a playtest will, will check it out. Well, I'll, start, I'll start titling these um, with their race class combo. And, oops, and various streams will, will start new tunes, different classes, and uh, get those videos up for folks. Whenever that loading screen of the Gnome King on the throne, underground you should have a quest where you return the finger bone to him and he clenches a weapon and it comes to life. Robert's, he's, he's writing down ideas. Robert said, I've been in a childish mood all day. I'm sitting here cracking a rib laughing. It's nice. Watch out. They may come for your rib. You're laughing at me now. We'll be doing the Lost Robert rib quest. Fingerbone earring grants enduring IPA. I don't drink IPA. I don't like flavor in my beer. And for the last six months, I don't drink any beer. I am being super healthy. I drink one beer after Fingergate. Uh, maybe after the one year mark. Our, our challenge that we set up was one year, no alcohol. One year. Your finger longs for beer, that's why it curled up. That might be what happened. It it thirsted to death. You have moose head beer, you don't tell your stuffed mooses about it. You never know, they might like it.
<laughs> Love wine. Wish it wasn't so spendy though. Beer is vastly cheaper. Man, wine over here is plenty cheap. Oh, Corvid, watch out. Danger zone. Wine here is like you can get a decent wine for five euro. Thank you, Nick. All right, guys. I'm going to get ready to, uh, I'm going to get ready to run out of here soon. We're at the three hour and 15 minute mark. Oh no. What's the feeling we're, okay. Cheapest about something like barefoot is like 14 bucks here. Cheapest you can actually find is usually around nine to ten. That sort of stuff only alcoholics drink. <laughs> it's all controlled at the state level though, so we don't even get good deals. Can't do wine a month clubs, etc. What state do you live in? Utah. Oh, okay, that explains it. Yep. Sorry, Nick. Oh man, running around in here as a ogre is definitely a different experience. Last time I drank wine was at Boone's Farm in the 90s. That and Mad Dog 2020. One of the girls, one of the girls we hung out with when I was in high school. We called her her name was Barbara. We called her Two Bottle Barb. Because every party we went to, she'd, up, she'd show up with two bottles of Boone's Farm. Oddly enough, aged well. Aged well. She did all right. Would not have guessed it in high school. That's a lot of Boone's Farm. Look at me go. All right, guys. Why are you hailing me? What's going on? Oh, cool. Nice. Oh man, I almost leveled to five too. Shit.
Almost got a full set of patched. You're right. Robert, that would be cool. Next time you do need to get in, get up in here. So in three hours, roughly three hours, almost got to level five. Justin said, Sean, should I keep growing my birthday? It's three months birthday is on March 7th. I have a March birthday as well. That's awesome. Yeah, you should keep growing. You, you should grow your birthday, your, your birthday. You should grow your beard until you've got a full on Alan Moore wizard beer. Corbett said, man, I can't wait to just hang out and exist in this game world. I'm gonna hold you to that. Pudding, when's your birthday in March? March 31st, right on. My cousin's is like March 9th. Is that the guy from uh, England? It is the guy from England. Wrote the Watchmen and stuff like that. Jedera. I, uh, I'm just wrapping up a, a just like a playtest session, just sort of a, we, is that supposed to look like that? It's pretty fancy. Um, just wrapping up, uh, Just wrapping up a um, three-hour session, played a character that I haven't played before uh, uh, from level one, just to kind of have have something for folks to be able to see the VODs of, um, see a little bit of gameplay and things like that. Uh, the When we post gameplay VODs, they do pretty well, so got the feeling there are a number of people that are curious about the game that maybe don't come to the streams or whatever, that want to see it in action, so... Uh, what are the specs on my rig? I'm just looking at the FPS counter. Curious what you have. Crap. I don't even remember anymore. Let me... Here. Um, DX. Diag. Let's find out. So far, leveling place feels good. Cool. So, I've got a... Got 16 megs of RAM. I'm rocking. Oh, fuck. I mean, fudge. Hold on a second. I'm looking for the damn processor. I thought it was right here on the first page. Am I just overlooking it? Um, would be good to do build client for playtest stream. Yeah, I wasn't sure if I was actually going to commit to the playtest stream. I thought about it. Um, so... Oh, yeah, Nick's already going through my, my shtick for me um, as I bring this up. So I'm playing in the editor, so frame rate's always lower. If I was in the built client, it runs... I mean, they're, they're typically... I think I see about double the frame rate. Um, here, let's try that real quick. We'll see if I'm full of shit. Uh, actually, I don't know when the last time I patched was. Um, so anyways, 16 megs of RAM, GeForce RTX 2070 Super, and I am too inept to actually, uh, see on here where my processor is, but I could have sworn it was always just like right here. So anyways. Oh, sorry, not gigs. 
Meg's gigs, Jesus. <sighs> that's why you guys were saying, that's why you guys were saying, I get it now, 16 Megs, I get it. I'm old, man, I'm old. I'm old. Uh, it's also it's also 10:30 at night. Screw you guys. <laughs> oh. Next. It's okay if you need more RAM. You can just download more RAM. Um. All right, so Intel i7-770. Four point two zero megahertz. There you go. Modern medium spec range then, nice. Yeah, and what Nick was saying earlier is usually the first thing that comes out of my mouth, which is um, I'm, I'm playing in the editor. Because again, I wasn't sure if I was going to actually play test because um, I, I I didn't realize Zukin was going to be on and then he was going to want to play test and then Nick appeared and he wanted to play test. It's like, oh shit, we've got a real play test going on. So, um, so with that in mind, it was like, all right, well, cool, let's go. Because I was potentially just going to go into Sungreet Strand and like move some crystals around and stuff for Simon, but I can do that later in the weekend. Um, you're literally getting 16 meg ram sticks in your stocking stuffers. Sure, I can find some on eBay. I was about to say, where are you gonna find them, smartass? Y'all in here picking on old people? Uh, so yeah, not only playing an editor, but running all the stream stuff too, which can be taxing. Yeah, so there's that going on. Fifty thousand windows open in the background. Um, hey Bandit TV. Those of you that aren't part of the Discord, you can check it out here. I think we're at like what, between 67 and 7,000 people on Discord, which is pretty tight. Um, you can find all of our VODs here. If you like the music you've been listening to and you're not aware, you can find the playlist with all of our soundtrack to date there so that's some links for you um if you are watching this on youtube or if you guys uh are part of our discord but you haven't subscribed on youtube that's actually I, it, it probably doesn't hurt to do that it doesn't cost you anything so ask you to do that for us if you don't mind i mean we need all the support you can get. I'm, I'm running the game on, we're building this game with a computer that only has 16 megabytes of memory. Also join the mailing list if you haven't already. Did I hit the mailing list? Here's the mailing list. Goblin, are you streaming? Do, 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 do. Follow us on Twitter. Good job, Nick. Refuse to call it X. Can you let the song play out? Yeah. No worries, Goblin. Straight Edge Twitter, Twitter Hardcore. The X. No, you don't get it, Jasmine? Well, because I, I'm, I'm going to show them that even with 16 megabytes of RAM, it runs better. 
in the other client, assuming I get in. Alright, so let's kill this. Follow us on Facebook. I know some of you fellow old people have a Facebook. Nick calling people fellow old people. Oh, that's so nice. That's so funny. So I'm, I'm killing the, I'm killing the... I'm killing our other client here, which was running at like, just now, something like 20, 25 frames. MySpace uh, has come back. Has come back. Please visit, visit our Angel Fire website and our IRC channel. ICQ for Europeans. Oh man. There's a lot going on in my background. Come on, Unity. If you're gonna die, die fast. Come on. So there's still some optimizations and stuff to do with regards to Night Harbor, but just generally speaking, uh, who was it that was asking about frame rate? I'm almost done here, babe. Um, yeah, who was that? Who was actually asking about the frame rate earlier? I'm scrolling up now. Yeah, so there we go. All right, guys. On that note, the song has ended. We waited for you to uh, be able to hear it. The frame rate drops not from the looking at the light. It's from looking in at Night Harbor. So like I said, we've got some optimization to do. A lot of it does have to do with lighting, though. We've got a shitload of lights going on. And there's a lot, there's a lot going, going on over here. So if you haven't been here, it's a, uh, Fairly large city. Be more gaming. You have a great day as well.
Ollie said it's just looking down the one road down the center of Night Harbor and Salt Breeze is probably 100 plus real time lights. Yeah, so like I was saying, we'll be working on optimizations and stuff. We've even got it on a calendar. Um, we're going to be doing a big texture pass in the coming weeks and it should really make things look pretty damn cool. So keep an eye out for that. We'll, we'll give you more, um, more info on the topic. If you want to ask Ali some more questions, be sure to be in our discord and just tag him there. He'll answer all your questions all weekend long. Um, quick sauna, have a great weekend. Thanks for checking out the stream. Robert had a lot of fun as well. Uh, yeah. So I'm going to wrap this one up. Say my good nights. If there are any good nights, good nights, everybody. Night, Nick. Night, Ollie. Is that it? All right. Cool. Night Stabby the Robot, Siazukin, Toodles Dragon, Later on John, Vintali, have a great one, enjoy your weekend as well, thank you, Droop, see ya. We'll definitely, we'll try to stay safe, you never know with us. Sayonara Jintaki, you're very welcome, Chili Sauce, have a great weekend as well, Justin Beard, see you Wednesday, Wednesday, Wednesday. Uh, maybe Wednesday. Maybe. I'll let you guys know what the schedule is next week. Because uh, I've got surgery Thursday. And I may be going to bed relatively early on Thursday. Or Wednesday so I can get up for surgery. Um, but I'll try to get in at least one stream next week. Maybe on Monday or something. We'll see. Zenfar, see you. Alright guys. I want to hop out of here. Have a wonderful weekend. Um, be safe. But enjoy yourselves. Azafel, see you. Monday then. We'll shoot for Monday, Death to Gnomes. You can tell I'm tired. I even used your right name instead of Death by Gnomes. All right, everybody. Have a great one. I will see you Monday then. See you, Talat. Everybody else, if I don't get a chance to say goodnight to you, um, uh, I still mean it. And I will see you probably Monday then. Bye-bye.